Hello, hello. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you can see, we are in Trinity Bellwoods Park, and temperature right now is 20 degrees centigrade. So I came here to check out the um, cherry blossoms. I was just in High Park, then I took the 506 streetcar, but I got off prematurely so that I could go to Starbucks and get myself the chai uh, tea, the cold chai tea latte, iced, the iced chai tea latte, the chai tea latte, what they call it. Anyhow, this piece of land here this mini park, it's not exactly part of Trinity Bellwoods. This one is when we're about to cross the street. This just this tiny street, it'll take you right to Trinity Bellwoods. We've got a robin looking for something to eat. Those guys are always hungry. Luckily, they're not as big as humans, otherwise they're gonna wanna eat us. Mind you though, a lot of wild animals are always hungry. So here we are. This is uh, Trinity Bellwoods. Yep, there's the sign right there. I won't use that for my thumbnail because I, last time I was here was January 2023 and I used that sign as my thumbnail. It was winter time, this place was covered in snow and look at it now. Maybe we'll walk on the grass a little bit, maybe there's because if we walk on the grass, we don't encounter as many people. So I don't see any cherry blossoms or sakura trees. Similar name to what they're going to name Young Dundas Square. I don't know when they're going to do that. But anyhow, this park is seen on one of the bumper, the Iden bumpers on CP24. It's one of the major city parks. Hmm. Okay, so it says here, designated area. Where exactly are we? Don't really see where we are, can't tell. Oh well. Uh, I don't really wanna go downhill. Okay, better put my sunglasses on. There we go. This is where you got a lot of recreate, whoa, ah. Uh. I thought it was a ball coming my way. It was a, but it was really a bird. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, there were some instances in middle school when I used to get hit by the ball, like during gym time, recess time, and I would always scream. Every, I in grade eight, I would always scream every time a ball comes my way, only because I'm worried about getting hit in the head with the ball. And yeah, sometimes I do, but. You know, I, that bird made me think it was a ball coming my way. So there's the CN Tower. That could be why this place is one of the, um, that's probably why you see this place on CP24 every morning because this is, um, cause you can see the iconic CN Tower all the way, like very well from here. You can see it very well. It's so iconic.
This park was named after Trinity College, which um, they probably used the same land, but Trinity College became defunct in the late 19th century. So that's when they converted it into a park and that's how it got the name. This here is a seasonal ice rink, but we're out of season, so it's not in use. Down there is the off-leash dog area. I think you can see them better down by Queen Street. Because I've watched a... I've, um seen a YouTuber that who filmed the um, cherry blossoms down by Queen Street. So that's where I'm gonna head to. By the way, 20 degrees centigrade is exactly 68 degrees in Fahrenheit. Okay, let's not go near the balls. Wow. Okay, that that that's one depressing forest shadow. As much as I like nature, heavy shadows like this has a have a depressing vibe. There's a memorial here. Oh, somebody died. It's, yeah, you're always going to find memorials by trees. They have those plaques in my schoolyard, former schoolyard. Oh, I can see the Orion OG diesel down there. Rest assured, it's one of the 2007 8000 units because all of the 2006 7900s are retired. Back in the day, you couldn't tell unless you were physically standing there watching it, but now there's only one type of series. And yeah, some of the 2007 units are retired as well. I remember back in the day, up until the pandemic started, none of them were, were retired. Now, a quarter of them are gone. Okay, maybe, maybe we should go back on the path. Uh, well, maybe not, but let's... Trying to stay away from other people. After today, this will be the second time I've been here. So I think they should be found around this area here. This tree's kind of behind, behind others. When I say behind, I mean, it's because um, they're not as bloomed as the other trees. 
every tree is different. They well, you see, you can. It's in the stages of blooming, but it's not, you know, already fully bloomed yet. I would say any time of the year is the best time to go. Well, actually, in the winter time, not so much, but except for the fact that you can skate on the ice rink, but yeah, definitely su a summer, fall, spring. Do come down to Trinity Bell with the Oh, <gasps> look at that. There's the cherry blossom. Sancora. The, um, and one of the most commonly found sun, uh, Sankora trees in TO, the GTA, is the some yeah one of the most famous trees are the semi or semi Rashino semi Rashino they're more they're most commonly found <sighs> and they smell so good yeah now that's exactly what I was looking for they uh, in Japan they represent this as the official arrival of spring so uh, this is the type of tree I was looking for in High Park but I couldn't find it anywhere but at least I got to find it here now we've got some other cherry blossoms. Same ones as I saw in High Park. Whoa, how can they be purple and green at the same time? You know, there's purple shrubs, then there's green leaves coming out. There's some petals down on the ground and there's my shadow. In, now, just to recap, in High Park, during the a peak bloom duration, they close off the roadways so to, to, um, to make way for pedestrians and cyclists so that they can admire the scenery while time lasts. So if you're interested in, in checking out the cherry blossoms at Trinity Bellwoods, uh, do come, uh, the best place to find it is down by Queen Street in between Ossington and whatever. Well, just at the bottom of Trinity Bellwoods, according to Google Maps. Now this is the, this year, this place has been the second uh, most recent has had the second most recent blooming cherry blossom peak bloom, um, aside from the front, uh, robot, Robarts Library. Ah, let me put this into words. So this is this park it has is the soonest to have had the cherry blossoms bloomed, aside from. Uh, Robarts Library, like the Robarts, the U of T Robarts Library. Um, it was the first place to reach peak bloom, and then this one. But only referring to this year. I smell some, I smell hamburgers from here. Is there a hamburger place nearby? Oh, ha! I just walked right into a branch and these shrubs were literally tickling me. I did not see that coming. Good thing I'm wearing sunglasses because I don't want to get my eyes poked out. Oh, you know what? Let's get a picture of the other 
cherry blossom, the main one I was looking for to represent the video. Now, where is it? Oh, I see it. It's just right there. Have to point the camera towards the sky. Okay, there's gonna be people in it, but uh, not much we can do. There we go. Wow, that's one classy motorcycle. Pretty loud. This, here's another motorcycle, but it's not so bad. Not all motorcycles are loud as hell. A lot of them are, but not all of them. So this here is Strawn Avenue. And that's where we'll end things off. So, anyhow, um, thank you all for watching, and yeah, please remember to hit the like, the like button and the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more content. I'll try to do more vlogging, and I just realized, uh, I, my content frequency started to go down after I came back from New York City. Like, since I went to New York, you know, I came back, and then I started vlogging less often, so, yeah, I don't know, don't know why, but I'll try to raise my confidence if I can help it. Anyhow, take care, bye-bye.